Yeah, that's probably not enough. Ugh. He's sending three over there. Dang. Well... Don't have a fort over here. There's no chance of these guys getting over there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose St. Petersburg, but they'll probably lose Moscow in return. In, in return. Okay. Yeah. Invent a vida de order, read over street. Yeah, I'll just sit there because that's improved. It's hard to siege. Hard to assault, rather. Ah, he's left. He's left. Argonelsk uh, completely. Argonelsk completely uh, undefended. That's excellent. Is who hit? Let my money build up right now. Now, when I can get Copenhagen under control, then I'll move my troops out of there and into a Swedish fleet so that I can invade Denmark. I mean, uh, not Denmark, but Iceland. The last bastion of defense for Denmark. Hope the Russians don't attack St. Petersburg. I hope they just sort of maraud around there. Oh my god, look at that army. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the big battle. <laughs> Lots of mob units. <laughs> the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. How true. I am most definitely doing something that is extremely hard. <laughs> Even though I can defeat my enemies on the battlefield, I still need to worry about their large numbers of troops.
more dead on it. Once they move up, I think they're going to attack. So I'm just going to wait. Russian uniform is very interesting. Light red and dark green. Ah, oh, here they come. So I should turn a uh, canister shot on. Yeah, they've got quite a few men, don't they? So it begins.
<laughs> they seem to be running. It is broken. They come back. Take some shots at them. <laughs> oh, whoa, I didn't notice those. They were hiding. <laughs> those guys aren't coming back. Looks like they're starting to try to face me. Regiment's getting pretty, pretty experienced. Impressive. Yeah, look at that. These guys are running. That's a regular line infantry regiment, too. Devastating right there. It's weird how that thing works. My guy got killed. Here 
come the mad Swedes. <laughs> Whoa, they already broke. That's amazing. Oh, now they're breaking. And they're broken. <laughs> I won the battle. Gee, that was a really costly victory, though. Lost well, quite a few men. Still, I weakened them severely. Yeah. They lost 589, I lost 162. Completely eliminated their cavalry. Good. And I can keep the siege going until I can get my men recuperated so that I can finally continue the assault. The nice thing about sieges is that they cannot um, replenish the troops that they lose during sieges. And uh, not only that, but they actually lose men to sort of starvation and disease too, so pretty nice. Whereas you don't lose any. Yeah, they're they're undoubtedly going to take St. Petersburg. You hold them under Belagri. Since I since I didn't uh, make any troops here, then they're just gonna take too much from this. Too much heat from that. Oh yeah, it's gonna take them two turns. All right. Even one would have been hopeless. You know. Yo. Just surrender, please. Okay, finally they surrendered, my god. I mean, that, that, that would have been pathetic if they hadn't surrendered. I mean, look at how ridiculously powerful my guys are. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Finally see some blue on the motherland right now. <laughs> Huh. They're all half strength, though. And my guys seem to be pretty experienced. I'm gonna leave it, though. Ooh, maybe I should stop the siege. That way my guy can get out. Because oftentimes, if you leave your spies in the, uh, the cities that, that they're being sieged in, then, uh... He may actually lose them, so... Kind of a bad idea to leave your spies in there. Oh, cool, I assassinated that gen gentleman. It's cool when it succeeds, because, you know, it almost never does. Oh, let's see the siege right now. Oh. How do they get replenished? That's stupid. Alright. Well, I think I'll pull back then. Just, uh, let them go. It's not worth it. I'm never gonna starve them out. It's not worth it to starve them out. Well, if they really are that inefficient in, uh, deploying their troops, then I guess I could scrape up a couple of line infantry divisions over here. Oh, wait a minute, I still gotta keep the pressure on the poles. Dang. Well, and I guess there really is no hope for St. Petersburg until I get an army going. Well, I can still create... I can still make an army over here. One militia unit could help. Make two more line infantry over there. Actually, I think I'll make two cannons. Yeah, sounds better. And over here, I think I'll make provincial cavalry, actually, instead. Please don't invade, please don't invade, please don't invade. I mean, they're gonna lose in the end eventually anyway, but, you know, 
It'll just suck because I'll lose a lot of time. There's a 1708 right now, and I haven't really done that much, you know, in terms of conquering the other theaters. Oh, what do you know? They really were that inefficient. They built so many men that they literally had to deploy all of them there. Those fools. They didn't seize the initiative. Trying to get rid of these uh, stragglers and try to come in and invade. What I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take a crap shot. Just retire. Okay, that's just shot. Whoa, 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 whoa! Major aggressive a hole. All right, that's it. Time for the. Big melee storm. Since I won that battle, that cannon regiment was driven out of uh, Moscow. Excellent. Means I can attend to more important matters, such as mobilizing defense of St. Petersburg. Regiments plus the two mob units that I'll get are not enough to fight. That means oh well, that cavalry division could help a little bit. Anfall! 
Where's that coming from? Huh. That's strange. It's nowhere in sight. Oh, actually, I'm just going to sit here. Okay. That's all I can do on that front. Framover! Framot! Mars! Alright. This is the uh, starting. This is the invasion fleet for uh, Iceland. Okay. Now I'll just order them right there, and that'll take three turns, so by uh, 1710 I'll have all of Denmark. Denmark's territories, that is. Era order. Meanwhile, over here in Arkhangelsk. Framover. Huh. Redo. Looks like I'll need to leave at least order. one unit behind. Mars. Never mind. Era leave all order. of them behind until I can get it under control. That's all I can do for now. Venstrom! Marsh! Yeah. So... Now I have free reign to do whatever I want in Western Europe. Who do I want to go to war with? <laughs> Should I go to war with Prussia? Catch them in the middle of their war with Austria? Take over Berlin early on? Or should I go over and try to conquer Westphalia? Or should I try to go down and uh, take over this French territory. I don't know. I think I'm starting to lean towards going after Rhineland, and I think that's what I'm actually going to do. Let's see. So they have Wurttemberg as their ally. Alright. I'm declaring war. Of course, Wurttemberg just joined them because they're friends. Ah, they're pretty weak, actually. Okay. And, uh,. Wurttemberg is over here, so they're probably they're pretty much out of the way. You turn to <laughs> Alright, I made war with another European country. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go take a break.